Welcome back. In this session, I'm going to teach you how to assess the accuracy of classified images in ArcMap. So from our last session, you saw it's pretty easy to come up with a raster of cover, but the question is, well, how accurate is it? So here's an example of what's called an error matrix, which is typically used to assess the accuracy of classes. So we have a classified raster where one represents water and two represents sea ice. And we have ground truth points. So these ground truth points are actually GPS points where on the ground we determine whether it was water or sea ice. So then basically we have columns representing ground truth and rows representing our classified raster or the predictions for each of those locations on the ground. So along the diagonal of the error matrix are the correct predictions. So for example, there are 48 ground truth locations that in real life they were water and on our classified raster they were predicted to be water. And there were 40 ground truth points that were sea ice and those were all correctly predicted in our classified raster to be sea ice. So the total number of predictions that were correct were 48 plus 40 or 110. So our overall accuracy is the total number of correct predictions divided by the total number of predictions or the total number of ground truth points. So in this case, it'll be 48 correct for water plus 40 correct for sea ice divided by 110 was a total number of predictions made. And then we could also ask, okay, for any class, what was the accuracy? So what was the accuracy for sea ice? Well, you can look at it from two different perspectives. So one would be, we've got 50 ground truth points that on the ground were sea ice. And of those 50 ground truth points, 40 were correctly predicted. So our accuracy in that example would be 40 divided by 50. Or we could say for sea ice, there were 52 pixels that were predicted to be sea ice. And of those 52 pixels that were predicted to be sea ice, there were 40 correctly predicted. So in that case, our accuracy would be 40 divided by 52. So whenever we're talking about class accuracy, there'll be two estimates. So one will be of the ground truth points, how many were correctly predicted, or of the predictions, how many were correctly predicted. Okay, so how do we do this in ArcMap? Okay, so here's an example of a classified raster, and we've got four classes. So all the pixels that have fours in them are predicted to be water. All the pixels that have three in them are predicted to be spruce. The ones are aspen birch predictions, and twos are mixed aspen birch spruce forest. And then we have our ground truth locations. So these are randomly located points, and they have values 1, 2, 3, and 4. So if we turn this on, you can see that most of the water ground truth points were correctly predicted, and most of the spruce ground truth points were correctly predicted. And here's an aspen birch ground truth point that was pr correctly predicted. So what we want to do is for each point, grab the value from the classified raster so we can compare for every point we know the truth from the ground, what was its prediction. So to do that, we'll use a tool called extract values to points. Okay, in this case, I've got 100 points in each class. So the most efficient way to do this would be to use this tool, extract values to points. So for every point, from these random location layer, go to the pixel from this input raster and grab that pixel value. And then we'll output that to a point, in this case, a point shape file, and then OK. So the output is a, another point feature class where we have the original ground truth values and for every ground truth location, what the raster value was. So typically what I like to do is add a field called predict, and then we'll calculate predict to be equal to this field. Okay, and then I'll delete the original field called raster value because that's not a very descriptive field name. Okay, and in this case, there were some pixels that had no data values that were flagged as negative 999. 
So what I'll do is a definition query to eliminate any of those points where there was no predicted pixel for that point location. Not equal negative 99. And just OK. OK, so we've got 370 ground truth points that actually had pixels that had predicted values. So now what we want to do is create a summary table of every different class that on the ground was true, how many predictions were there for that class. So we'll use a frequency tool to create that table. Okay, so for every different value for truth and every different value for predict, tell us what the frequency is. And we'll output to a table. So in this case, I'm going to just output to a folder, so it'll be a DBF table. So the result is a table. So for example, there were 90 ground truth locations that on the ground were class one Aspen Birch, and they were correctly predicted to be on the ground Aspen Birch. And there were seven locations that on the ground were class one Aspen Birch. They were incorrectly classified in our raster as being mixed forest pixels. So the last step is to take this information and rearrange it into an error matrix format. So to do that, we'll use a tool called Pivot Table. Okay, so if you click on Show Help, it'll tell you what each of these dialogues is for. So for example, this dialog is the field that defines the records. So the records are the rows. And what we want in our rows is the classes in terms of predictions. So predictions will be in rows and our ground truth points will be in columns. So prediction is in rows. And then if we click on pivot field, that will be the values used to generate field names. So our field names are our columns, so that's going to be truth. And then our value field will simply be frequency. So how many pixels are there in each class? And then we'll output to a new table. So in this case, I'm going to name my table error matrix.dbf and then just OK. So the resulting table is in an error matrix format. So the cells along the diagonal are the correct predictions. So for example, there are 90 ground truth points that on the ground, they were class one, which is Aspen Birch. And they were all predicted to be class one, which is Aspen Birch. So our overall classification accuracy would be 90 plus 35 plus 70 plus 86 divided by the total number in this table. And the other thing we could do is we'll add a label so we don't have to remember what is class one versus class two versus class three. We'll actually put that in a table. So we'll add a field and it'll be a text field. And I'll make it, let's make it 32 characters and we'll just call it uh, class name. So we have our text field class name and then we'll simply edit and fill in our class names for these four rows. And then editor, save edits, editor, stop editing. And then we could add another field, a double precision field, so we'll calculate the percent correct for each class prediction. So for example, for our Aspen Birch, there are 90 ground truth points that were correctly predicted. So we would take 90 plus the 41, or 90 correct, divided by the total number of predictions, which is 90 plus 41 plus 7 plus 2. So we'll use the fill calculator. So truth 1 divided by the total number of predictions times 100. So our accuracy for class one was 64% accurate. And then we would repeat the process for each class. Okay, so water was the most accurately classified class at about 96% accuracy. And Aspen Birch was the least accurate prediction. So 90 out of 90 plus 41 plus 7 plus 2. And then we could format this as a percent. So if we go to uh, properties, 
and then numeric we'll say format that as a percent and then we'll give it a format of um, one to the right of the decimal Okay, and if you desire, what you can do is use Excel to finish creating your error matrix. So what we'll do is in Windows Explorer, we'll make a copy of this. So just Control C and then Control V to copy it. And then we'll, we'll change the name of that error matrix and we'll rename it to error matrix, whatever you want to rename it to. And then we'll open it with Excel. Okay, so in Excel, what we can do is we'll save this as an Excel spreadsheet. So file, save as, and I'm going to save it as an XLSX extension. So I just formatted it so we've got um, in bold the number of correct predictions. So we had 90 from Aspen Birch, ground truth that were correctly predicted. 35 from mixed forest, 70 ground truth points from spruce, and 86 from water. So if we take 90 plus 35 plus 70 plus 86, divided by the total number of ground truth points, that gives us our overall classification accuracy of about 76%. And then if you're interested in any class, so for example, uh, Aspen Birch, there were 90 ground truth points that were Aspen Birch that were correctly predicted out of a total of 100 ground truth points that were Aspen Birch. So that gives us 90% from that perspective. However, there were 140 pixels that were predicted to be Aspen Birch. And of those 140 pixels, only 90 were Aspen Birch. So that gives us, from that perspective, an accuracy of about 64%. So for classes, there's two perspectives in terms of class accuracy. Okay, so that's what we're going to do this week in lab. After we do our supervised classification, we're going to assess the accuracy using ground truth points and create an error matrix.